Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasal. This is Java Programming for Android 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to use Java hash map in Android. Okay, let's go to Android. Okay, assume that you have your own application. And then just go to Java file because now we are talking only to Java. And in here is where you want to write your code. So if you follow my tutorial before, you know how to use the array list. So in this video, we will talk about the hash map. So hash map need two generic data types, the key and value, and k is for key and v is for value. So in case you don't know what is key and value, it's something like this. So in the past, uh, anything that they're gonna store uh, in the file, it has like something like that and then you know you set the data like that so it's kind of variable and uh, data the, the value the common place that you're gonna see key in value it is in the URL for example like example.com you will see uh, question mark and then you will have like length equal in and then uh, end sign and then maybe uh, data something like that okay so this is the key and this is the value so this is a query string of the URL and it used the key and value method okay key value okay and in the JSON you have the key and then the colon and then the value okay or maybe you can just write like this okay and then comma and then another uh, key again okay and the value something like that okay so it's very basic the key and value and here in the hash map they use also the key and value so declare hash map open this sign and then you will give the data type of the key so now i use string as the data type of the key and another string for the data type of the value okay and then just call map new hash map and column uh, in the past um, in java 6 you need to tell it like this okay but from the java 7 you don't have to do that just delete it it's fine and map now you can put any data okay so it must be in a pair like this let's say data one okay and just maybe number one and if you have a duplicated case, um, the data that will that you will get is the last one. For example, you have data one, data one, data one. Let's say number one, number two, number three, like this. So the data one will will get only the the last number. So it will forget the first and second. So be careful. You should not use the duplicate case like that. It's similar to the database, okay, but um, it will not have any error, but the data will, will have some error, okay? So let's assume that you have something like this, okay? So just student1 and student3, like that. Just my example, okay? And if you want to read all the data, you can use uh, for each, but in Java, there is no each keyword. You just call for, but the syntax is a little bit different. So first, you have to declare a data type, and here I want to get all the data from the value. So I will declare we for the value, and then a colon, okay, and then uh, map dot values, okay. So it means that in each um, values, like you have three values now, so it will send the uh, data each one student one student two student three to the we and now you can get the data from there so just call log and d and here is the the first is for the tag so usually i just call main activity it's very easy to search in the future so just copy and paste like this okay and now you pass the data we okay so let's run it okay because you use log d then you have to choose debug okay 
and now this is the, the tag and then just pass the tag now so student 1, student 2, student 3 okay but actually the hash map is not in an order it is like uh, in random but um, if you uh, add some more data you will see that the the, the result will, will not come in the order like this it's just like the coincidence okay let me try another data you can you will see okay you can see that so the starting point is from student 5 and 7 2 3 1 8 so this is the thing that you uh, have to be careful that the data will not come in the order so if you want to have an order you have to use a link hash map then you can have the order but for the basic hash map is like this and you can uh, remove any data just remove and just give the the name of the key so let um, me delete number data 4 so let let given uh, the right number like this easy to see okay this is if you want to remove and if you want to get the data just call get okay and you can get the number as the the key okay and if you want to display just call log like this okay. and maybe just put some here get okay run it okay now you can see that when you get data 6 now you can get student 6 and then uh, you remove data 4 now you don't see any uh, student 4 and you can do something else like you want to test it for example contain keys or not okay then return type is boolean so something like okay i want to test if the data uh, if data 4 exists or not okay so return type is boolean so you will see uh, true or false here so data 4 exists something like this and you will see and if you want to get the value it's the same okay contain value here and if you want to test it is empty or not Okay, and if you want to clear all, you can just call clear. One method you clear all the data. Okay, so this is the common method that you will use, and it's very basic. The hash map is very basic. Um, if you want to use something else like uh, link hash map, it has some like um, order, you know, like reverse, something like that. Okay, so see here. Now data for uh, exists for we remove it okay so that's it for the hash map i hope you like it if you have more questions just comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you and i will see you in the next video